Let's see what we get. Bohemians. So I guess Hank and Nurse and Castlage it is. Uh, if you stayed with the camels at home, you could defend. Uh, but if I had my camels at home, you could never push that the castle. So yes, that's the answer. It was a big error on my end. I didn't know the village account that I had such a big village lead in that game. So I wasn't really sure. I, I misread it. I think it was just a combination of that I didn't feel great the whole day or the whole set. So it kind of just like it sh it impacted my decision making as well and how I read the game and whatnot. Just one of those days. Japanese. You cried when I sent my cameras away? Yikes. Don't cry. What kind of is going to do against Japanese? Men at arms, crossbows, skirmishers, elephant archers, Rumi swordsmen, elephant uh, siege elephants, mangonels, monks, scorpions. I don't know, a lot. Let's get some juicy Hufnitsa shots. Hufnitsa is too meta. We need to go Hankiners and Castleage. That's what we're gonna do. Not sure if it's known info, but did Kingston do a formation trip? Um, he told me he just spam clicked. Because, I mean, there are no formation tricks that makes you ghost through units. I asked him about it, but yeah, I don't know. I haven't really tried it. So I'm not sure if you can just spam click the hell out of it and actually do that, but... How are Rumi performing as Samurai? Oh, probably quite bad. Probably quite bad. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen the instances he did it a few times over again. And yeah, he is ghosting through the units essentially and then just stops in the middle of the army. So... He is able to repli rep uh, replicate it. They lose in one one, but in groups they destroy. Really? Sounds good. Mm, guess we go back. Actually, I want to stay on the left side because my goal is there. So let's take the risk. Ciepu drzewo, ciepu drzewo, ciepu drzewo, ciepu drzewo. 
Based on the score, it's safe to say he's just been pushing deer. Samurai Rex Rumi? I would, I would expect that as well, but maybe because yeah, of the charge attack. Maybe Rumi can actually have some, some nice trades. Oh no. Oh, she will die. So you just push deer and he follows that up with a drush. It's getting maximum value here. Teleport! Welp. We've had better. Oh my god, reveals. What else can go wrong? Not the best start. This. You didn't notice? Should I take and splash damage for a, for a win? Yeah, I, I imagine... Yeah, there is a big chance. Cause, I mean, we see Burgundians, for example, right? Burgundians can... Uh, the... Burgundian... Minister? Custelier? They can steamroll counter units. Simply because of the splash damage. It's not only that it was uh, three bills for a drush, it was... Uh, he pushed deer beforehand. So he has a massive eco bu buff. He is Japanese. Oh, I have my scout here. He's Japanese. So he has a massive eco buff initially by the pushing the deer. And then he gets three bills on top of that. So yeah, it's a pretty... In a game at this level, that should be game over. But crazier things have happened. Not that simple, indeed. It's also poor scouting by me, though. That I didn't uh, check or find his stuff. Mm, can I even be aggressive here? Oh, oh yeah, wood steel as well, where you ignore the armor. There's, there's a lot of things that potentially make, make a Rumi Swordsman like beat. Um, this is also bad. There's a lot of things that could make them beat, beat them. I don't have fletching either. He already has it. So if he actually comes forward now. Dude. Don't trust the score here. It's all scouting information or scouting puntos. It's also walled off that side. I think I will just drop a marker and try to like really greed my way to Castle Age. And have that be my attempt at coming back. So we have the gold upgrade for free, so we are mining quite fast. It's full upgrades though. Yeah, I'll make a f continue making a few skirms and then try to buy away to cast Lich. That's the plan. I wonder if it even gets to the point we can make hand cannons. Based on the opening, it shouldn't. It's only one way to find out, right? Why is he pushing? It's a bit strange. 
He does have plus one armor, but still. Do I continue to make skirms? What if he makes arches now? Well, we're up. How do I even get to... Like, I don't know how to equal to support hand grenades. Let's go monks again. Uh, I don't know. My economy is not great here. Do I just try to... I think it's just palisade walls. It's not like it holds for a long time. I think our cast ledge time is very solid still. But obviously, I'm not dropping town since or anything. So it's gonna be like all out mangonels, hand cannons. That's essentially the plan here. I mean, we're gonna have hopefully a small time here where I will have enough time to like get chemistry and a mangonel and then after that we transition to uh, ooh, a stable so university to do chemistry Monastery to get eco upgrade and a monk, and seed workshop to get one mangonel. And then it becomes full mangonel hank in there. I don't know where his arches are though. I know where his arches are. <gasps> oh, and I don't have stone. That was an ugly hole. At least our villages are very fast now. Oh boy. Can I uh, probably have to wall that? I have plus two already. The one more mangonel, start producing hand news. Now I'll try to go aggressive. Could be quite nice. Does have plus two, so maybe he's playing cow archers. Okay, it's actually going... You know what? This is good for me that he's going siege. 
The sand cannon just kills Siege fast. These shots might bring it back in the game. Yep. Mate. And it's not on that. I have a solid, like, I have the equal boost now. With uh, the faster villagers due to fervor. Fervor? Yeah. Let's see if you run into a mangano already. <gasps> I got this siege workshop! <laughs> oh shit. He's a bit passive there. Okay, that's pretty nice. I mean, I'm still extremely vulnerable to, to counter raids due to his mobility. Hmm. Four anchor nurse. This can be a bit yikes. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty tense moment. But I'm in his equal as well. But I have such a small army in his base. Feels like that went pretty well though, I think. It's not on gold there, but he has a gold in the back. We can add another one of those. So now mixing in skirms. But skirms are not that great against this either. Pretty cool. I like it. Why did they not shoot? Guess we were always going to lose both of those. So that's kind of okay. We definitely took some damage there with Bills. I think it's working. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> I feel like that's every game. Hello, YouTube. Let's check. He's probably on there, actually. He has ballistics. Ooh. Okay, it's not there. Houses, houses. Oh, yikes. Let's go. Mm. 
Uh, since we're away for folks, most of the games, games will hit you too. That's true. That's fair. Oh, hello there. Oh god. Everything is a mess for him here. Add some rams. See, I'll show exactly why this is not a good way to deal with this. You can't. Oh! Let me just click. Okay, I've not done a great job of dealing with this mangonel, but point is Hankin is like five of them will one shot the mangonel. So Mangano is not your answer here. Well, that was a pretty shitty opening, but hey, it worked out. That's one of the most entertaining games I saw in a while. <laughs> hey. I mean, if you think about it, Imperial Age, what stops hand cannons plus something like bomber cannons? Or even Mangano's? Not much. So when you can access that unit in the castle age, I think that's pretty dicey to stop as well. But yeah, I, I think your whoever said it earlier was that those Magna shots might get me a way back into the game, and I think that's the case. If he had those like he had like 10, 12 cross archers here, when I got that hit and killed most of them, it meant that he would never do the crossbow upgrade. So yeah, those those Magna hits were definitely crucial. <laughs> that KD though, holy cow. Did we talk about Red Bull Volo? I have YouTube videos where I recap every day pretty much over Red Bull Volo. So I don't think I have to talk too much about it on stream. Very nice. Very tight. Very dicey. <laughs>